So, Martin, uh, we still ha kind of uh, hope you joined our team with good intentions and not to pay uh, <laughs> revenge, or how do you say that? Because we almost killed you several years ago. <laughs> Have you been able to forgive us? <laughs> it is forgiven, yes. No, the real reason I joined Cross was that, I mean, actually, I thought it was a, a no brainer, right? I mean, I spent the last 10 years or so with IBM working with Cross on and off on different projects, and it just seems to me that Cross is perfectly situated for growth in, in Europe. Uh, there's a lot of digital transformation, whatever buzzword you want to say, there's a lot of stuff going on in the industry right now. There's a shortage of personnel, and at the same time, Cross has you know, the right size, the right skills, very high technical level, just posed and ready. And I always wondered, you know, why isn't Cross doing more? Mm -hmm. uh, and when we started talking and I realized, oh, well, well, maybe I can do it. Yeah. That uh, just became um, an obvious, uh, an easy choice for me to make. And, but for, for the people who don't, don't know you uh, as good as we, we know, how, um, so you, you came from IBM, right? And in fact, as far as I know, you already decided to leave IBM and you were looking into some different options when we started to chat. But we know each other, not only two of us, uh, but Cross from many years ago. And can you maybe... <coughs> so, yeah, so my background, I am um, originally started in the rational brand, so the whole DevOps, and I worked with you guys in that capacity. When I stepped into the channel management of rational, um, we worked together on some mainframe projects. I was uh, attended your first conference in... In Primoster, I think. It's QAD. We still have the conference. Yes, so yes. Uh, you will attend this year. Absolutely, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yes, you will. Uh, uh, it's official now, so you can book it. And then, um, yeah, so the, a lot of rational background, but the last four years or so I was working on the integration side, so that's all the IIB, API management, MQ, data power. All the bits and pieces from IBM middleware that used to reside in the Webfair brand that's all talking about interconnectivity and, and, mm. and exposing data in different kind of ways. So, which of course aligns very closely with what Cross is doing, both the rational and the DevOps piece, which is my legacy and which is part of your legacy. Working with the mainframe, again with the enterprise modernization of the rational portfolio, and then doing all of the integration the last couple of years, which is very much the complex integrations that Cross is doing for their customers and banks right now. Which is you know, taking legacy data and new data any kind of way and mashing it together and exposing it so people can use web banking on their phone or whatever the case may be. So from a technical fit and from a culture fit, it seemed like it was a, yeah, it was know, a perfect fit. A perfect match. It was a good match. In the beginning when we started to, to talk about our collaboration, it really sounded too perfect, at least for me. So it's I perfect. thought something yeah. will go wrong, <laughs> but at the end... And now, of course, we've opened up the office in Amsterdam. Why Amsterdam? Why Everybody Amsterdam? asks that. Why? He's a Danish guy, you're a Croatian company, you already work in Germany and UK, but why Holland? Why Holland? Well, there's a number of reasons. So I actually have lived there before. Uh, when I joined Rational, that was in uh, the European headquarter, which was outside Amsterdam. And you came from US, right? And I, You've been living in US for how many years? The last, uh, since 2005, I've been on and off um, in the US. Um, so I wanted to go back to Europe for a number of private reasons, but also Amsterdam uh, is very entrepreneur friendly, it's a great place to start up a new company, there's a good support and framework for it. It's also very well situated in terms of you know, major airport, uh, language is, 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 I speak the language a little bit, and they're very good in English. And it just seemed like a perfect little fit to be somewhere in Northwestern Europe, we were looking at maybe Denmark, maybe UK, maybe Benelux, and we settled for Amsterdam. Um, and I think it's the right choice. I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a good stronghold for us to be. So do you already feel very welcomed? Can you maybe... Very welcome and at, at yeah, home, in, yes. In both sense of people and society and business. Uh, yes, I mean there is some, well, still some kinks to be worked out. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean it, 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 I think there's a good infrastructure in, in helping and supporting international companies that want to start up. Uh, I think we've seen uh, some good things there. We've also seen IBM, who uh, we of course have already worked with all over Europe, but IBM in Holland have been very yeah. good with us. Yeah, they've, you know, they've taken our meetings, they've helped us set up, they've facilitated meeting with local business partners. Uh, 
So I don't regret the decision to move to Amsterdam. I think it, uh, I think it was the right place for us to, to set up shop. Cool. It's working well. So they say you need to ask me something. Do you have any questions for me? Or um, sure, shall we turn it? <laughs> So, um, Vedrana, what, uh, what are you watching on Netflix? <laughs> How long yeah. what do we have? <laughs> we can talk for hours about that. Yeah. No, I think it would be interesting to know, obviously, you know, Cross has been around for a long time. Now you brought me on board and we are clearly focusing on Europe. But maybe you can just elaborate a little bit on what is the overall sales strategy. Somebody is really right. calling us. This is somebody who needs our services? From the UK, yeah. Exactly. Please answer. You ask me something. I asked you about the overall sales strategy, strategy. and push and what is Cross doing. So obviously, getting you on board, we sent a strong message, not only to the market, but to our internal people as well. And that is that we really want to focus on prestige Western markets. <laughs> like uh, we've been very successful as you know in, at least in our opinion in UK and Germany mm -hmm. and we would really like to even uh, grow in those uh, geographies more but to replicate something like that in geographies where you will be active uh, we see that um, in the future we would uh, like to serve as much as possible for those markets but from here. We think that uh, in the, we live in a country where the weather is nice and the food is great and you can really enjoy living, but you are not allowed to move. <laughs> and, uh, and we have really great people here and we would really like to, to give them opportunity to work on exciting projects, especially in terms of integration, which we already mentioned, and stuff like DevOps and complex integration, APIs, microservices, stuff like that. We still are very, very confident that uh, we are somehow always on the, this technology wave uh, very, very in front of everybody else. So, and we are confident that we can offer uh, that kind of services to different clients as well. So, um, I really am happy, even personally, that we have you, because I think this will, uh, we, we're learning as well. Uh, we have a lot of experience on our own, but having you on board is uh, giving us a little different perspective on the markets, on our own skills, on our own, maybe even weaker uh, points, but uh, I think this will be a really in interesting journey. Going to, where, which we already started. Mm -hmm. Martin, today so, we are having our town hall, the event where we try to gather as many, if not all, cross people, and afterwards they will even celebrate St. Martin's Day. <laughs> this is the reason why. Right. So you're the, like the best person to present to them today. And we kindly ask you to share your uh, view on both us cross people, but Croatian people as well, and the country. So can you have a short sneak preview what you're going to yeah, do? Yeah, I, I, I can. I mean, I can... I, so what I want to say to the all the people across that, that shows up is, is that uh, they're really, really strong technical skills, communication skills. Uh, it's a very easy to go out and represent and sell Croatian technical people because they sell themselves very strongly, very good references. But there's just one little catch, which is that uh, you have to stop being so humble all the time. It's really a Croatian thing I've noticed, like when you are in Croatia, it's fine. Good wine, good food, we're having a fine time. But then you go to England and you go to Germany or the Benelux and they go, you know, Thank you, I'm so honored I could be here at this table today. And I, I just think it takes, you know, away from the value that you're representing because there's no need to be that humble, you know, it's, it's not, it's, 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 it's just another country in the EU. It's, it's, here we are, this is Croatia, this is Holland, you know, just be yourself and be the same loud, fun-loving person you are whenever I visit Croatia, really, when you're outside Croatia. That would be my only, like, little uh, feedback and observation on that. 
Great friend. We will, we will continue <laughs> to, to practice that. So, thank you. Yeah, you're very Enjoy well. Sant Martinez. <laughs> I will. I will do my best. Thank okay. you. Cheers.